Hi, in this session I'm going to cover how to use slicers in Excel pivot tables. Now slicers are another handy way to filter data in pivot tables. Let me go ahead and create a pivot table here. These are popular baby names in the United States from 1912 to I believe uh, 2011. So let me go ahead and create a pivot table out of this. I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut Alt key N V T. Let's go ahead and put this onto another table here or another worksheet. Let me increase the size here a little bit. So let's go and just put uh, the name and maybe the count of names. So here in a pivot table, maybe I want to put the gender here in a report filter and I want to see uh, what are the popular male names throughout those years or popular female names throughout those years. Well, another way to do some filtering here, and this is a very simple pivot, but if you had a lot of other data, this can probably also help. But I'm just going to use this simple pivot data, these simple fields, to show an example of the slicer. Now, in the pivot table, once you click into the pivot table, you'll have your pivot table tools context menu. And in the sort and filter group, you go ahead and do an insert slicer. So once we click on the Insert Slicer command and choose Insert Slicer, it's going to come up with a dialog box to show us the fields that are available for us to create the slicer. Let's say that we want to have the gender. So I'll go ahead and click Gender, click OK, and I'm going to have a floating image or floating object, excuse me. Let me go ahead and resize this to make it a little bit easier to see. And Basically, this does the same thing as a report filter. If I select female, it will show me all the female names. If I select male, it will show me all the male names. So that's basically your slicer. Now, it's very similar to just adding the field into the report filter. You know, we can see the same thing. And it, once we click on that, you'll see that the filter is on. So we can also remove the clear the filter here, and it will get rid of it. Now, you may think that, well, that's not really too much of a difference here if I have a slicer versus having the field into the report filter. But the beauty of the slicer comes into play was when you have multiple pivot tables on the same data. So let me go ahead and delete this slicer. And let's say that I created another pivot table. I'm just going to go ahead and remove this first. And let me just copy this pivot table. Control Shift the down arrow will select the whole pivot table. Control C to copy and I'll just put it right next to here in, in column D and control V to paste. Let me go and double click here in the column to auto fit. Let's say that instead of having the count of names, let's say I want to show the year, I guess the years. I'll, I'll add an extra field under the role names, role labels. Excuse me, I'll enter another field under the role labels to see uh, how many times uh, it was popular in the years. Excuse me, when it was, what year it was popular. And now I've got two pivot tables, but they're based on the same data. And if I go ahead and um, select one of the pivot tables, I just need to select one, just it just to bring up the context um, menu and go under options, insert slicer, and bring up the one slicer. I'm going to bring back the gender selection here. Click OK, and I've got that there. So you, you'll, you'll notice that if I wanted to put the gender in the report filter here, and also click on this table, put the gender in report filter here. If I wanted to see all the uh, male names, I would have to, for both tables, I have to click here and go unselect that and click male and also do it here. So you see that I have to do it twice. The beauty with the slicers, I can just leave that there. The beauty of the slicers is I can connect these two pivot tables with that one slicer. So right now, I believe it's on this table. I can go ahead and select this table and go under Options, Insert Slicer, and Slicer Connections. So I can connect this table with that particular slicer. And once I click OK, if I go ahead and click the female, you'll Whoops, I guess it was connected to that one already. So let me go ahead and, and select this one and do the slicer connection. Yes, there it goes. <laughs> it was unchecked. So let me go ahead and check that one, click OK. Now if I click on the 
Male field, you can see both of the pivot tables have been selected for male. Click on female, and now they're both selected for female. So that's one of the advantages of using a slicer versus having it maybe in the report filter. The slicers let you do it, concurrent selections or make lets you do a selection and it can basically affect multiple pivot tables if you want to do any filtering. Um, so if you have situations like if you are putting together a dashboard where you have different pivot tables but on the same data and you want folks to be able to just filter one time and have it change on multiple tables, a slicer is a good way to go. So there's your basic overview on pivot table slicers. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching.